you guys, how's it going? It is Hermes bringing you another brand new video. Today we've got a really stupid video that I wish I didn't make, but I'm gonna be making it because I'm recording it now. So, uh, yeah, so I, I went and did a thing, um, and I'm gonna show you now, but before we get into it, Shining Fates comes out in the next couple of weeks or next week or so, depending on when this video goes live. Uh, I got heaps coming for that, so please, if you're interested in Shining Fates, hit subscribe, hit hit like, hit hit everything, and press all the buttons. Um, I also got a new haircut, so I'm really paranoid that my hair looks crap, which it kind of does. Um, and thank you for all the support. Again, the videos do really well. I'm really happy that everybody likes them. So thank you again for watching. Um, and I guess the only thing left to do is to. To, to show you guys what we did that was really stupid. So, so I went into the shops today to buy, uh, well, to get a haircut. And while I was there, I'm like, hey, let's, let's pick up some Pokemon cards to to film a video with. And while I was there, I didn't find any. So uh, I went to EB Games, I went to Big W. Uh, that was all the shopping center had while I was there. It wasn't a very big one, it was a small one. And I'm like, bummer, what do I do? So I went into a, uh, like a $2 shop or like a, a bargain bin type shop. It just sells real cheap, crappy items. And I'm like, oh, hopefully they've got Pokemon cards for sale. Um, you never know the random store that might have them. So I like, I went in there and um, uh, this is what I found. So um, that, that they're all fake. Pokemon cards. I'm like, oh, that's gonna make a funny video. I'm curious to see. Now, I, I didn't actually pay what is stickered on this because uh, the lady was like, oh, I, I accidentally spilled coffee on it, sir, so I will give you a discount. I'm like, oh, fuck you. So, uh, this is a. <laughs> Look at this card. It is. She, she spilled coffee on it, so she gave me a discount. It's, it's actually. Her, I'm actually worried for my hygiene. Um, I'm like these are look. These look funny. The, the tins look kind of cool, I guess. This is an Alolan Sand Slash from 2020. You'd almost think it's a reverse. Like, it's like the printer ran out of ink. Uh, anyway, um, I thought I'd open them. The tins are kind of cool in a way. I mean, obviously these tins never existed, but what do you do? This is all going straight in the bin afterwards and I'm gonna wash my hands very carefully. So, um, what do we, <laughs> they feel like crap. It's like half of them are off cut and, oh man. So that's a Chin Chow. It's a Durant. <laughs> Should I get one of these graded? Oh no. I'm just I'm just curious what they put in there. Cloyster. Wulu. Minchino Energy. They just if it's just like a piece of cardboard that's like crappy as um I, if i got a pokemon card i believe there's a test you can do to check if cards are fake but i don't really want to destroy a pokemon card just for the sake of a video pikachu thwacky they're all from the same set oh i guess it's cosmic eclipse so it makes sense they're all from cosmic eclipse i th i just thought this would be funny just to uh, as a short video, just to like show you what you get inside them. Whoa, we got a V Max Dungeon! Whoa, man! I wonder. It's 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 just a plain card. There's not even a, a hollow effect. They 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 tried harder with the reverse. I guess it's a reverse, so the whole card's technically anyway. We got a Stonjourn V Max. Woohoo! Sandaconda. A Mantine, a Rookie D, a Haunter, a Rookie D, a Haunter, a Rookie D, a Haunter. What? I'm broken, like the cards. Um, yeah, that's just really funny. Um, I guess Unified Minds is next. I'm gonna have to wash my hands 
after this. I just bought one of everything of what they had. I might, nah, even the containers are going into the bin actually. This is, so this is Unified Minds and it's got Cosmic Eclipse cards in it. A Solagel, a Heatmore, a Thieweevil, a Rhyperia. Oh, we got a Morpeko VMAX, woohoo! Should I sell it online? That's what I think of you. Upside down, Galeria Ponyta, upside down, upside down. A Maractus, a Morpeko. Yo, meet your friend. There you go. Meowth, Center Scorch, Nine Tails, a Croagunk, Sudowoodoo, a Cramorant V Full Art. Whoa, look at that, man. It's cool. Energy Upside Down, a Moona, an Upside Down, an Upside Down, Yampa, Pharaoh Seed, Score Bunny. By the way, FYI, these big tins, if you see this type of shit, I mean, you can clearly tell it's fake. Just Search on eBay, real like if you see these in in shops or something. Search eBay, like it takes thirty seconds to search eBay. I mean, seven ninety nine. Instead of buying fake cards that you're never gonna use, you can literally go to EB Games or Target and buy a booster pack that has real cards in it for the same price. So, um, I don't, I don't, I don't even like, I don't even know why shops are allowed to sell fake crap. Tag team, oh, at least he's had the shine to it. I know, wow, it's, we got a double whammy there, guys. Um, I don't know how shops are allowed to sell fake Pokemon cards. I guess you can, it's your shop, you can do whatever you want. I mean, even the wrapping is just, it's just shit, okay? It's just shit. It smells like fucking coffee. Oh wow, we got booster packs in this one. Look at that. Oh baby, we hit the jackpot. And a bunch of loose cards. Oh, Weevil player card. Look at that, boys. I've pretty much got the whole set at this point. We got a tag team. Anything else good? We got another player card. Piplup. Uh, let's get into the booster packs. I mean, pretty good quality booster packs. Not gonna lie. I mean, they go to a lot of effort to scam people. So, ah, oh, the card we already got. I mean, one, two, three, four, five. I think that's a ho that's a hollow card that um that they yeah. Anyway, lantern, heat more. That's so funny. I mean, the blister plaques are a kind of cool thing. Um, another reverse. Another reverse, Hitmonlee. They've all got the same look. I wonder if it all of it is Cosmic Eclipse. That's crazy, man. That's, oh, man. And Cosmic, oh, we got another two blister packs. Oh, we got Blastoise and Piplop. Piplop, Piplop. Get this stanky shit off my desk. Uh, another. Let's see what else we got. Another weave. Oh man, I got the. I've got. I pretty much got the whole set at this point. Look at that. Oh, we got another tag team. Oh my god, it's a Braviary. Oh my god, it's a Pikachu. Oh, uh, I swear, it's another Pimpro. A Lolan Grimer, a Flabibby, my baby, it's a Flay Baby. <laughs> I 
I just honestly can't believe that this shit exists. Like, I paid $20 for this. I could have bought real booster packs. Skull Bunny. That, that, that was the first card off the press. It's so nice and shiny. Everything else looks crap. One... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It don't even give you ten cards. Am I counting them? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> it says ten, ten additional game cards. I only got nine. <laughs> I didn't get an energy or a trainer. I want my energy. I want my trainer. I want to guess the energy game. Ah, uh, we got a jalapeno. Reverse. Ah, uh, it's all crap. It's all crap. What did we get this time? Hey, right, we got our guess the energy card. Oh, we got two. Oh, we got Reshi Ram and Zach from GX. Yeah, bro. Oh, man, this sucks. Oh. Anyway, guys, please do a little bit of research before buying Pokemon cards, especially on eBay. And I mean, if you're going into it, unless you're going into like, a, if you're going into a $2 shop, be careful. I know in America they've got Dollar Tree Club. Dollar Tree? Is it called Dollar Tree? Yeah, I think it's called Dollar Tree. Um, if you go in there, they sell legit Pokemon cards. I think they might sell fake too, don't get me I don't live in America. But, um, just be careful. I'm gonna do a video in the next week or so of, um, how to buy Pokemon cards online because there are a lot of people out there getting scammed and buying what they think is real Pokemon card. But they're not fake, they're just not what you think you're buying, so... I'm gonna do a video in the next week or so, just explaining it, not the next week or two, just explaining how to do it and how to buy Pokemon cards and what to look out for and stuff like that. So, uh, stay tuned for that, but be careful when buying Pokemon cards. There's a lot of scams out there, especially that there's a lot of hype around these cards right now. People are trying to scam people. People are trying to make as much money as they can and it's wrong and um, just don't do it. So, thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy, leave a like. I mean. The tins are, are good. If, if I just if they weren't so dirty, I'd might keep them, but they're just so dirty. I wonder if they're real tins. Well, they're just reprinted. I don't remember anything coming out with this though. Nah, it's reprinted. Um, enjoy. I hope you guys had a good one, and I'll see you in the next video.